Hello, welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk about a a short video that I made very recently that absolutely exploded. It's me basically reacting to a TikTok about someone talking about tokenization. I've realized that tokenization is probably a big big topic that people don't necessarily completely understand. I even was talking on a consulting call just today, somebody asked me about tokenization. So I thought I'd dive a little bit into my experience with tokenization, what it is, why you should even care in the first place, just so that you can have that base level understanding and you can take that to your family and friends and be able to explain it to them however you want. So essentially what this video was, was a, was a guy t on the stage talking about tokenization, basically saying how a hotel owner could divide up their property, tokenize their property and raise funds for that property. Um, you can raise funds and then each person who holds, the, holds these tokens can actually earn an income, a yield on, on that investment. And you could even sell that, that token later on for a higher price. Um, it's all very interesting because it poses an idea for people that actually tokenization isn't just this thing that HSBC are doing and BlackRock are doing. It's not just this massive institutional thing, although they will be doing it. But there are public retail facing tokenization plays that you just might be interested in because it can earn you some money. And many of them are very risk off ways of earning income. Some would say even passive income. And so I just want to explain my experience in this so far, because I do actually have some experience now. Uh, very recently, I was asked by uh, a company to come in and work on a tokenization project in Tuscany in Italy. Now, what had happened here is that the owner of the land that uh, was concerned here that wanted to make this, uh, it was like a golf course resort. Um, they went to the bank, tried to raise funds from the bank to make this resort happen, but they couldn't happen because the bank didn't have any money. It just highlights the, how bad the, uh, uh, the financial system, the banking system is. So through some conversations with, with other people, it came up about tokenization. What if you as the, as the resort owner, the, the owner of the land who wants to make the resort, the resort, what if you didn't have to go to the bank? This was all pitched to them. What if you could essentially crowdfund this resort, but do it on the blockchain? Um, and so the conversation started and essentially it's actually rolled through into fruition into a real thing. The reason I was involved is because I was asked to make a, a commercial, uh, like a video advert for this thing um, to help them raise the, raise the money for the project. But in reality, what happens is they raise the funds by a big, big like token raise. It's a security. Um, they, they raise this money. The investors who have paid their five grand, 30 grand, 50 grand, whatever it is, there, there can be different tiers of investment. They each get an NFT. Now this NFT really, if you just think about it as like a pass, like a, like a ticket, and this ticket grants you the right to own a portion that's equal to your investment of that resort. So let's say the resort goes from zero and it grows to like a 10 million dollar revenue resort over time, because you hold that NFT, you're now able to re receive like a royalty, like an income, a passive income from that project and basically get, get paid for your initial investment. You're basically coming in at the founder level and getting, uh, what do you call it? Get stake or equity in the deal. Um, that's essentially what it is. So they give away a certain amount of equity in return for the money to get the project started. Now, what this does is it presents you a really interesting uh, thing that happens, right? And that is that if I'm investing in this, I've now generated a yield, but I've also got something valuable because anything that generates a yield is now has a value as a, as a lump sum sale. So for example, if I take my ticket, my NFT, and I know that this NFT yields me say, uh, $20,000 a year, for example, typically you have to value that token. What is this token now worth if I sold it to someone on the secondary market? So if someone wanted to buy this, what would I sell it for? So typically these things are done, I think, I believe, where you look at the yield that that asset would have over 10 years and 
you can kind of reduce the value at that point. So it's uh, 20,000 a year over 10 years, that'll pay me $200,000. I would be happy to sell this right now for let's say $150,000. And you could take that token and sell it on the market. All of a sudden you, you've been an early investor in a project, in a tokenization project. Um, it's gone up in value. You also have benefits along with that, like this one in Tuscany. If you if you are an NFT holder, you get access, you get discounts to actually use the resort when it's done. So there's benefits like that and you can weigh that all up. But there'll be a secondary market for these things, not only providing a passive income uh, opportunity for you to earn based on the growth of the, the tokenized thing itself, but also the ability to sell at high value later on when it's when it is a higher value item. So you expand this idea of tokenization out to basically anything. What if you could tokenize your own home and give up equity in your own home to, to kind of fund your own thing? It's like creating your own loan system where, you know, I, I'm, I'm tokenizing my house. Uh, my friend wants to invest in the house and in return. So I give him a little bit of equity of the house and he gives me the cash to to basically for what i need so i keep the home but i've just taken a portion of it and given it uh given it away he can then sell that portion of my house to anyone he feels like um and let's say over kind of the course of 10 years i'll pay him a, a proportion of what this uh property gr uh, the capital appreciation of this property over time so if it grows 10 percent, and his if my property grows 100 percent in value he will get uh, he'll get that increase as well as part of his initial investment. So it's kind of like we can do this on a small scale. So we can do this with, you know, a Pokemon card that is really valuable. We can do it with a house. We can do, we can participate in it with a, with a hotel or a resort. There's endless amounts of things you can tokenize. And essentially all it is, is breaking up uh, uh, an asset into little pieces, offering an incentive for people to buy those little pieces um, and creating a market around that. I just think that whole thing is extremely fascinating. Tokenization is playing a massive role. I've even been contacted after my involvement with this Tuscany thing, contacted about a load of other tokenized tokenization events that people want to take part in. Uh, and feel free to message me. I love seeing those uh, things and I, I, I look at all of them that come across my table. But I think what tokenization really offers the general public is the ability to have another way of making uh, income. So so if you're trying to get onto the property ladder, you want to buy a house, but you don't have enough money. Well, it could be really cool to just buy tokenized parts of homes and generate a yield that way. Um, especially if you're in, in the thinking about the idea of kind of buying property to uh, buying to rent. So buying to get a yield from tenants. This would be a really nice way to remove all of the management of that property, of that investment, and just invest in, you know, a series of properties. Let's say there's a really up and coming area like Las Vegas was a few years ago, and now Austin, Texas is, right? You could just say, okay, I want to buy like, I've got $10,000. I want to spread that $10,000 across 10 different properties in Austin. Um, and you can just get that yield from there. So it's actually acting as another investment product, which is why this whole thing is, they have to be deemed as securities to do that. So it's very interesting. I think people should be paying attention to it. If you want to pay attention to the to any of the deals that come across my table that people might want to be involved in, then I would just subscribe to the channel and um, wherever there's like a newsletter that you can register for, just do it there. Um, because ultimately when these deals come across my table and I think there's, you know, there's a good opportunity for people, I would just, I would just email it to people. Um, in addition to that, I've been working for, for weeks on formulating, accumulating knowledge that I've gained over the last several years in crypto and assembling all of these learnings and understandings to actually provide a solution to a problem people just are ignoring because they're too scared to start. And that is all about exit strategy. So I've created a, a system. It's, it's, I think it's absolutely incredible. I think it's a one of a kind. This system will allow people to create their own, you know, fully fledged black and white uh, in accordance to their own personal desires and needs exit strategy from crypto. Um, that's not me saying, you know, you have to exit crypto, but if you're going to take any profits, this is probably something you want to do. 
Um, so if you're interested in that, you can actually check it out below, see what it's all about, watch the video on the using the link below. Um, but I think this is an absolute game changer for anyone who's even slightly confused about what to do and when, when to sell and how to sell and all of that. After all, if you don't sell, if you don't have a strategy, if you don't actually take profits, you're not going to win in crypto. You'll you'll miss the top. You'll think the prices are going higher. You'll miss the top. The price will go down lower than you had the uh, before, and you you ultimately can miss out on thousands, if not tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars, just because you didn't have a plan in place. So, I've created something that solves that problem. I think it's seriously the best on the market. There's nothing like it. So register using the link in the description. There are a few early bird spots left if you want to attempt to get one. Um, yeah, that's that. Tokenization, uh, really, really important. Keep your eyes peeled. Exit strategy, link in the description. Thank you very much.